Hi, this is Cleb Akhmadov and I want to show you how to add code coverage badge to your project's readme. Now there are a lot of services that provide badges. If we go to shills.io, we can click at coverage services and you can see that many many services can give you a badge but that requires your repository being actually linked to one of those services. What if you don't want to link your repository to external service? What if you just want a badge? Well, luckily, shields.io allows you to create your own badge. For example, we can enter the label, the message, and pick the color of a badge, let's say orange. And that will give us a badge, right? And it's just a URL. So we can put that URL into our readme to create the badge, but we need a percentage. In my project, I have code instrumentation and code coverage Cypress plugin. So every time I run end-to-end -end tests, I get a coverage report. We can see it inside the project itself. There's a coverage folder and coverage reports in different formats. One of those formats is JSON summary format. That tells me what's the total number of lines covered as a percentage, total number of statements covered as a percentage, and then functions and branches. So I want to use the percentage of statements covered by my test as a metric to create a batch. So here's how to do it. I've written a utility called check code coverage. Usually I use this utility to make sure that my code coverage stays above certain threshold. But one of the scripts inside this npm package is called update batch. So I already installed update batch, I mean Cypress code coverage with update batch in my project. So if I call npx update batch on a, on a project, it will say I couldn't find an existing code coverage batch. So I added it to the first line. So if I look at my readme, where is this new? Badge added at the first line where I usually keep my badges and it has read 75 which is a percentage coverage of statements in the final report and I just added this badge saying 75% and it says well it's kind of yellow. It will create green, bright green based on a limit. So if I look at the preview I'll see this nice badge. If I change my test or my source code and I get a different percentage, let's say I pushed it all the way to, let's say 85 and I do the same command. Now it found the existing badge and updates it, right? So now it's 85 and a different color and now it looks nicer. Now the code coverage is not ultimate sign of quality, but it's a signal. It's a signal that we're test, that they actually measure, right? So usually when I see a badge with high code coverage number, it means better chance that this project works. So it's nice that I am able to set this badge locally, but I don't want to do it locally. Usually my tests ultimately have to pass the CI. And so I really want to set this badge on CI. So for this example, I'll use GitHub Actions as CI. Here's my workflow file. I'm using Cypress GitHub Action to install dependencies, cache them, run Cypress, and get coverage report. And then at the end, I will run npx update batch just like I'm doing it locally. This will update the batch, or maybe not, maybe it stays the same, right? And now here's the trick. I'm using this action from GitHub published to GitHub action. This action is already linked and has rights to push code commits back to GitHub because it's running as an action and has access explicitly through GitHub token. If npx update batch really changes my markdown file, it will be a change. It will be committed by this action and pushed back to my GitHub repository. Let's look at CI. So right here under actions, the last CI job ran, ran 
and the Cypress Tests, right? And then update the badge, and I only ran it when I just added this command. So there were no badge in README, and now it added this README file. And when GitHub to action noticed that there is one modify file, it was committed and pushed back to GitHub. And so if I look at my code and I look at all the commits, this is the commit I pushed and then the CI GitHub action pushed this new change automatically and I got updated badge. And this is how the code gets self updated and this badge stays true to whatever CI latest code coverage number was. So check out, check code coverage, update badge. That's how you update the badge on CI. And you get this nice little code coverage badge without using any third party external services.